So this is my EDF Eurofighter. Uh, it's got rudder, elevons, uh, canards that move up and down for the pitch, and thrust vectoring that moves up and down for the pitch. It's got a 64 millimeter duct fan uh, that has about 19 ounces of thrust and the plane weighs about uh, 23 ounces. So if you want more info about this plane, click on the link in the sidebar and that'll take you to my webpage about it. So the plane is underpowered. Uh, I was running about at full throttle the whole time. So when it came out of these loops, it would kind of like stall, it, well, it would get really slow, and then sometimes it would stall, and that's how it crashes later. So in that landing, the canards fell off, uh, so I just gave it some up trim and threw it again. So really what I wanted out of this plane is kind of like a slow flying jet that could do high alpha-ish kind of stuff. like. And I wanted it to be tail heavy, so it would always kind of have the nose up. It would kind of always be like high alpha, really slow. And it's sort of like that. Uh, it's not really tail heavy, but uh, it'll do high alpha before it like wing rocks and tips over. Uh, the thrust vectoring works great. It's just underpowered. That's the only problem. So I think I'm going to build another one of these, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, with the mic with the Grayson Hobby Micro Park Jet motor. So it'll be probably a bit faster and more powerful. So it crashed and the wing broke off and the bottom broke off. Uh, there's the thrust vectoring and the canards broke off in the last crash. So here's what used to be the duct fan setup thing. Uh, there's the fan right there and it had like a tube and then it went back here to the thrust vectoring.